Hi everyone, this is Ripper of Ripper Gaming, and today I'm going to be covering how to determine if you're getting full power, either through your aftermarket power brick or through your dock or hub that you might have bought for your ROG Ally. So, there's a few things to understand here, and I'm going to cover them all. If you already understand all this, that's awesome, uh, then you know what you're doing. But for those that are new to this, especially when it comes down to a detail like this, I just want to take a few minutes to cover it. So, first thing you're going to need to understand is that, um, if we can look on the screen here, you can see we're running at 25 watts. That is because we're in turbo mode, and so that tells us that's where we should be. So it's going to keep that at 25 watts. Now, everything is unplugged. You can see nothing's plugged in up here. So, if I go into um, our ally button, our uh, armory crate button, I mean, and then settings and operating mode, and then go over to manual, you can see that manual has a few settings. I've covered this in another video, but I'm covering it quickly here. And the reason is this, because uh, you can see the SPL, which is your sustained power, that's where you're normally going to run. So that's set to 25, but then you've got SPPT, which is like up to a two minute interval, and then FPPT, which is up to 30 seconds. So it can kind of boost, and when you plug in the device, these numbers can change. They can get much higher. Um, so you can boost up to around 53, I think, once you're plugged in, uh, which is great and all, but what we normally want to look at is the sustained power level, because that is where you're normally going to play. You know, if, if you're going to sit down and play for an hour or more, you don't care too much about what the 30 second boost or the two minute boost is going to be. So since that's kind of out of the way, I'm showing the game here and I'm showing 25 watts. Now I'm going to cover two different power bricks and uh, just to kind of give you a comparison here. So this first one here is an anchor power brick. I actually just bought this and this is a 100 watt anchor power brick. Um, I don't remember the exact model, it's probably in the back. Anchor 736 Nano 2. Um, I don't know if you can see that on there, but that's a 100 watt power brick. So anchor is pretty reputable when it comes to power supplies, this kind of thing. So this is going to be um, in my bio, or not my bio, my description, my links, uh, you can see several links. This anchor power brick will be in those links. Uh, so if you want to get that one, you know, that's one I'm testing with and no works. Uh, now, over here, look, I've still got the plastic in it, like my grandma there. But uh, so if, if you look here, this is your standard 65 watt. Let's see. If it kind of says that in there. I can't tell if the camera's picking it up, but. 65 watt power brick. So this is the one that comes with it. So you would think if that's 65 watts and can power a device, then the 100 watt um, one can power the device as well. So I'm gonna plug both of those in and we're gonna do some testing. Okay, so we've got both plugged in now, and I've got this cord and this cord. The white cord is the anchor, the black cord is the one that comes standard with the ROG Ally. So, when we plug that one in, you can see it jumps to turbo, and you can see our wattage is flying up there. We're in the 50s now, that's great. But that's really not going to last very long. So, this thing will kind of calm down to 43 watts for a little bit. And then it will eventually calm down to 30 watts, and that's where it will stay. So this is kind of our baseline. This is the standard power adapter that comes with the device. So we know that that'll, you know, eventually sustain down to 30 watts in turbo mode. So basically, that's proof that this one's working. So uh, we don't have to sit here and stare at it forever, but you can see it's around 43, 42. It'll over a little bit of time here just start to go down so that's the original one now I'm going to unplug that and we're going to take the anchor one here and plug it in now keep in mind it's a hundred watt um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just have this and when we plug it in It's set to turbo, it's on PD. 
So this one seems to be going well. But I will tell you that sometimes this one will pop up with a little notification saying that it doesn't have the right amount of power. There, right, yeah. That one's from earlier. That's some of my earlier testing. So I don't know why it didn't pop up again now, but the point is it says it's not enough power. But I think that has to do more with a bug in an armory crate. And Asus has even acknowledged that some docks might have issues, um, chargers, that kind of thing. So I can tell that that power brick is giving me enough wattage because I'm sitting here at a steady sitting 29, 30 watts. Without enough power, I'd be running 25 watts. So we know that this is running uh, sustained 30 watts. I can switch back over again to the Asus power brick and it will switch it'll do its quick uh, burst but then it will go back to the sustained 30 watts so in my testing here what i can really tell is it more quickly resume it goes down to the sustained power limit on the anchor brick but you can even see now it kind of switched over to 30 watts so um really you're playing plugged in for an extended period of time you're going to get the same performance from either the official um, uh, Asus power brick or from the anchor power brick so so that's good news uh, and and if anything maybe you just want a spare so you can keep one at home and take one with you when you travel okay so we're going to unplug that and the next thing we're going to do is test power delivery to see how much we're actually getting so I've got these little adapters um, I'll look them up and put them in the uh, Amazon links if you want to get one uh, but this basically tests power going either way either power coming in through this cable and going out or coming in and going out the other way so uh, I'm gonna plug the Asus uh, power adapter in here through here and I'm gonna see if we can get that on camera there let me see if I can maybe get the focus here so if we look at the focus you can see that we're getting around 63 I see this kind of hover during testing between maybe 62 to 66 watts. That's the Asus power brick. That's what's going through this testing device into the ROG Ally. So now we know that's kind of our baseline. 62, 3, 4, 5, 6, that kind of thing. So right now it's hovering around 64, 65. So we know that's what to expect. So now I'm going to unhook that and I'm going to grab the plug for well let's see where I can find it I think I've lost it behind here here we go I'm gonna grab the plug for the anchor this is the white plug for the anchor adapter and so you know it pops up everything's fine and if you can see we're kind of sitting right in the same place around 62 63 um, the other adapter seems to go a little higher to 64 5 6 but this anchor one seems to sit right around 63. I mean, see it drop a little 61 there, but either way, it, it seems to be fairly close to the other adapter. Uh, this is a little strange considering this is a 100 watt power adapter, um, that it's not um, you know, pushing quite as high as the anchor, or not the anchor, as the Asus one. But uh, you know, anyway, you can see the same info I have, and it looks like this should work, and in testing it does work. Okay, so now we're going to unplug this and we're going to keep this in here for testing, but we're going to try out two docks. So let me back this thing up here and I'm going to just move this out of the way for a moment and I'm going to show you the docks. So the first dock I have here is an anchor. I think this is an HB0603 and uh, it is... I mean, pretty good. I got it for the Steam Deck. Um, I've used it for uh, docking for this as well. I've used it for um, as a docking station for computer um, and just for charging and using keyboard and mouse. You can see I've got my keyboard and mouse dongles in there now. So this is rated for 100 watts. Now, the big thing you need to know if you're buying a dock, you don't have to buy this one. You don't have to buy the other one I'm going to show you. But if you're getting a dock, especially if you're just getting an a, a off-brand one, you want to make sure that the uh, power supports 100-watt um, PD. 
um, because this device is going to take some power uh, as well as the ROG Ally taking some power. So this one doesn't say it on there, but if you look it up on Amazon or on their site, this one does deliver, um, does take 100 watt PD, which is just power delivery. So that's one option. This is nice because it's got a little stand and you can kind of sit um, it in there. I'll probably do a separate review for this one later. Um, actually, probably for both of these. Um, so, and this other one is is still, look at that grease. Um, this other one is still a uh, dock per se. Some might call it a hub, but it really performs the same thing. So if you look here, you can see that it says PD in, that's power delivery in. It's got HDMI, micro SD, SD. It's got your ports, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I use this one for streaming for my device sometimes for some videos uh, because I can get power. Um, uh, you know, th this is a smaller, easier one to hook up over at my main PC as opposed to this one being more of a dock. Uh, so I'll use that one, but both of them pretty much perform the same functionality. Now I'm going to test both of them uh, to see what performance we get there. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Anchor one. I'm just going to get our old school official Asus ROG stand here. And so I'm going to take this dock, and this has got a lot of plugs here, but uh, I'm essentially going to plug in starting with the Asus, a supply cable. It's going to go into the power delivery slot, and then it is going to go into our wattage tester and then into the device. So we'll kind of start here and see that plugged into the device it shows that we are now getting 49 watts. So you can see that that means the uh, anchor dock is taking around probably 15 watts. So um, now the good thing is, is let's go ahead and go down here. Even though it's delivering less wattage, hopefully you all can see that very well. Doing a lot of camera movement here, but just want to make sure you see what I'm seeing. So you can see this APU wattage is showing 36 over here. So um, this is boosting probably at this point because it's not running right at 30. Um, so it is probably important to note that the boost is lower than we saw before. The boost hit up to say 53 and then dropped down to around 42, 43 before kind of um, going around 30. So you can see over here that this is stating that there are only 25 watts. So if you're in the official mode, I'll jump around just to make sure. If you're in the official mode with the actual um, ASUS adapter plugged in solo, this will show you 30 watts. But we can't trust that, so um, at least right now, I can't say for sure that that's correct. So over on the screen, you can see we're still sitting at around 37, 36 watts. Uh, so, so there's no guarantee that uh, this thing still can't perform at top performance. So we'll have to let it drop off here, and you see it actually just did down to 30 watts. So even though this isn't getting the full power from the adapter, and even though we're seeing 25 watts in here, we are still getting 30 watts in our testing. Um, and even at this point, we are still seeing 48, 49 watts on our testing device as well. So the good news is, that means even going through a dock, uh, we are getting full 30 watt APU wattage uh, from our, uh, for our Asus ROG Ally. And that's using the official adapter even going through a dock. So it looks like we're still good to go, um, even though it's, it's, it's using some of that wattage for the dock. So good news. So now we're gonna do this same thing and we're gonna do it with the anchor. Same setup, same everything. You can see this is my uh, cable for the Asus. And then here's the cable for the anchor. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in. And we are going to plug in here set everything down and so now we can see that we're actually getting more power now remember that or I'm sorry let me move this up so you can see we're actually getting more power going through the dock than we were 
because the ASUS adapter is 65 watts total, whereas this adapter is 100 watts total. So it's able to provide the full power to the hub um, or dock, as well as providing full power to the unit. Now, if we look over here, we're still in 25 watt operating mode. It still doesn't think we're capable of 30 watts. But again, I believe that's just a software bug, because if we look over here, we're still sitting around 29 to 30 watts on the game. So I think that's proof that this third party adapter um, works that it works with this dock. We'll try it with the other dock in just a minute just to kind of test two different docks, two different power adapters. Um, so uh, even if you get that little error notification that comes up so far, it's looking like you're still getting full power, um, which especially if you just bought a or already have a 100 watt uh, adapter, then you can still use this on the road without having the official ASUS adapter. So this is something that they're supposed to fix soon enough. Um, but it might be in the next BIOS update, Army Crate update, I'm not sure where the issue is. Okay, so this one's getting a little long-winded, but I want you to see my testing and exactly how I'm going about it. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop this out, and we're going to switch over to our other dock. So, let's move that out of the way. We're going to switch over to the JS Ox dock. I'm not sure if it's JS Ox like auxiliary or JSOX. They're actually supposed to be sending me um, some other docks to test with. So maybe I should ask them because I want to make sure I'm pronouncing their name correctly. Uh, but just in case you're wondering, the, this is all purchased by me. None of this is um, provided by any of the manufacturers at this point. So I will say that in this one, I kind of scoot it over a little bit because it's just easier to get the plug in when you're using it as a dock. So, we're going to go ahead and get power into that one through the back. I'm just plugging it in because it plugs in at the bottom. So right now, the black cable we're plugging in is the official adapter. And then we're going to go through our power. Now this one's going to be a little bit harder to see probably, um, but I'll see if I can make this work here. Okay, so this is with the Asus um, power adapter, and this is coming out of the dock and going into the device. So you can see we're getting 59 watts here. So we're actually getting uh, more wattage directly from the dock. Um, now, of course, we'll go back down to the actual game here and see that we're running in 25 turbo, but again, you can see we are getting 30 watts. So we are still getting a full 30 watts, which means we're getting full performance. So this is out of the, the JS Ox dock. So um, that's good. That's with the uh, Asus uh, uh, power adapter there. So I'm going to unplug the ASUS power adapter and I'm going to grab the one from my anchor dock, the white one, and plug it in on the back of this. And of course you see this power adapter does not support full performance. It showed up that time. So we're going to take a look and see what we're getting. So up here you can see we're sitting 62, 63, so it looks like the device is still getting full power. And if you look at the game, you can see we're even going up here above 30 watts. So this will uh, obviously vary, you know, like we talked about before, that's going to go up and down. Um, but that should level off at around 30 watts, thus giving us the full sustained performance. So now this is just a small subset of the amount of docks out there and different power bricks. Um, but I want to provide this because I've just seen so many comments on Reddit. I've seen people on my own videos asking about this. And uh, hopefully that gives you an idea on how to check your own dock, your own power brick, to make sure that you're getting full power and getting maximum performance out of your ROG Ally. And if you look over here, you'll see we're sustained at 30 watts again. So um, every dock, every power brick I've tested, I can attain full 30 watts even if the command center is not showing me 30 watts in turbo mode. 
Uh, so there, I'm sure there's lots of other testing we can do here, but I just wanted to focus on turbo mode and make sure everyone kind of understood what to look for. So hopefully that is helpful to you. Um, and if you'd like the video, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. And if there's anything else I can try and help uh, test or ideas you got, put them out there for me. I love uh, comments uh, from the audience. So anyway, this is Ripper Gaming. I'm out. Have a good one, everyone.